What if a car could drive forever, without fuel, without charging, without ever stopping at a gas station? For decades, the idea of a self-powered car sounded like science fiction, a dream reserved for futuristic movies. Yet today, a man from Zimbabwe, once dismissed as a dreamer, is rewriting what we thought was possible. Maxwell Chikumbutso's self-powered car has finally received certification, a moment that could shake the foundations of the global auto industry. For years, people laughed at him. They said his invention was impossible, that it violated the very laws of physics. But now the impossible has been recognized, and the world is paying attention. In the next few minutes, you will discover how this breakthrough was achieved why global industries may be terrified, and what it means for the future of transportation. More importantly, you'll understand why this certification is not just about one man. It is about the start of a new era. By the end of this video, you will see why this story is one of the most disturbing yet exciting developments in modern technology. Maxwell Chikumbutso was not born into privilege or backed by giant corporations. He grew up in Zimbabwe a country with limited resources but endless innovation in the hearts of its people. From a young age, he displayed an unusual gift, the ability to build and invent things far beyond what was taught in classrooms. His journey led him to found Scyeth Technologies, a company dedicated to creating groundbreaking technologies. Over the years, Maxwell introduced inventions that the world either ignored or ridiculed, drones, helicopters, generators, and most famously, a car that could supposedly power itself indefinitely. The idea was staggering. Imagine a car that doesn't require gasoline, diesel, or even a charging station. A car that could drive day and night without ever stopping for fuel. Maxwell claimed to have built exactly that. Yet when he revealed his prototype years ago, mainstream media and scientific institutions quickly rejected the idea. They said it was a hoax, a scam, or at best a misunderstanding of physics. Engineers argued that perpetual motion was impossible and labeled him a fraud. For many, Maxwell Chikumbutso became just another name in the long list of too-good-to-be-true inventors. But he never stopped. Away from the spotlight, Maxwell kept refining his technology. And now, after years of skepticism and silence, something remarkable has happened. His self-powered car has been certified. For the first time, independent authorities have acknowledged his creation as more than just a claim. This is not rumor or speculation. It is official. While the details of the certification process remain carefully guarded, what we know is enough to turn heads. Tests were conducted, documents were signed, and the invention passed. The car works, and it has been recognized. Why is this such a big deal? Because certification is the difference between a claim and a fact. Without certification, anyone can say they've invented a miracle machine. With certification, governments, institutions, and even industries are forced to take notice. For Maxwell, this is not just a victory. It is vindication. For years, he endured ridicule, criticism, and accusations. Today, he holds proof that his invention is real. And that changes everything. Think about the implications for the auto industry. Today, the market is dominated by two forces, fossil fuel companies and electric vehicle giants. On one side, oil companies continue to fuel billions of cars worldwide. On the other, companies like Tesla and BYD are racing to electrify the world with batteries and charging networks. Both sides rely on infrastructure worth trillions of dollars. And then comes a car that doesn't need either. No oil, no gas, no charging, no grid. Just endless, self-sustaining energy. If that technology scales, entire industries could collapse overnight. Imagine oil companies watching their dominance vanish. Imagine EV manufacturers realizing that their charging stations and billion-dollar battery factories could become obsolete. Imagine governments that rely on fuel taxes suddenly seeing those revenues dry up. The ripple effect would be enormous. Economies would shift, geopolitical powers would realign, 
and ordinary people would finally have the freedom to travel without ever worrying about the price of fuel or the distance between charging stations. This is why industries are terrified. This is why a certified self-powered car shakes not just the market, but the entire world. And yet, the story is not without controversy. Maxwell Chikumbuzo has long been surrounded by doubt. Critics point out that his inventions have rarely been peer-reviewed by scientists. Others argue that the physics behind a self-powered car simply doesn't add up. Some still call it a scam designed to attract investors. Even now, with certification in hand, skeptics remain unconvinced. They argue that certification is not the same as widespread adoption. They warn that until thousands of these cars are on the roads, proven and tested by everyday drivers, the claims will remain questionable. But here is where things get interesting. Certification means that for the first time, Maxwell's work cannot be dismissed outright. It has passed official scrutiny, and that forces a new question. If he was right all along, what else has been hidden, ignored, or rejected simply because it didn't fit conventional science? The debate is now open, and the world is watching. Do you believe the world is ready for a self-powered car, or is it still too good to be true? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, because this conversation is far from over. Beyond the controversies, let's consider the bigger picture. If Maxwell's car truly delivers on its promise, the benefits are staggering. Developing countries, many of which struggle with unreliable fuel supplies and limited access to charging infrastructure, could leapfrog into a new age of mobility. Rural areas that remain cut off from modern transportation could suddenly be connected. Families who spend a huge portion of their income on fuel could save money and invest in better lives. And the environmental impact? Enormous. A car that powers itself produces no emissions, no waste, and no need for resource-heavy batteries. It could be the cleanest form of transport humanity has ever known. Now imagine what happens if this technology is not limited to cars. What if self-powered systems can be applied to buses, trucks, trains, even airplanes? Entire industries would transform. Cities would redesign themselves without the need for gas stations or massive charging networks. Energy independence would no longer be a dream. Nations could break free from oil dependence, and the world could move toward a future that once seemed impossible. We began this journey with a disturbing question. What if a car could drive forever? For decades, that question seemed absurd. But now, thanks to Maxwell Chikumbuzo and his persistence, it has become a reality recognized through certification. From ridicule to recognition, from doubt to documentation, this story is about more than an inventor. It's about the future of humanity. The road ahead is not without challenges. There will be resistance. Powerful industries will push back. Skeptics will continue to demand proof. But certification marks the beginning of a new chapter, and once the truth is out, there's no turning back. This isn't just about one man's car. It's about a shift in how we think about energy, transportation, and the future itself. If you want to stay ahead of breakthroughs like this, hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss what's coming next. Because if this is only the beginning, then what comes next could be even bigger. And one thing is certain, the world will never be the same again.